Hello and welcome to another Crate of the Week! Uh, I am kind of intrigued by this one called Kanata, which is a application for being able to sort of jazz up your keyboard. You can kind of, uh, the idea is that you are able to uh, actually go and uh, provide your keyboard superpowers that uh, it wouldn't normally have. And so what do I mean by this? It turns out that most mechanical keyboards have a very uh, uh, sophisticated uh, configuration system, but other keyboards don't. And it turns out that the person who is uh, behind this project, or the uh, um, J True here, really wants this to be um, fixed. <laughs> okay, so how do we do it? Um, it turns out that there's actually a, a, a decent video um, that we can like take a look at, uh, and it will kind of guide us through uh, the process of like inserting um or kind of giving the j k l and i keys uh different um behavior than what is sort of standard um and but let's kind of go through the build instructions uh because it's in the, the we're in rust uh we can use the rust tooling um so let's try cargo install kanata and the usage so it's got 166 um, things to compile that should be not too long and i'm running on ubuntu so it's probably going to require pseudo access because it opens it says here the the dev files uh the dev files in the unix uh, file system hierarchy stand for devices and essentially they are virtual uh, virtual files that represent uh, peripherals and other parts of the physical hardware like physical devices on your computer including the keyboard uh, we're now compiling the kanata crate itself or so the binary uh, and now we're good okay so i've got i've got this thing uh, kanata and I also need a config file. So I'm just going to go into temp and I saw here that there was a, there are some examples of config and I want to be able, here's simple, that sounds what I want. Uh, copy that and I've now got a simple configuration. So if I can say, Kanata uh, config and then simple. Hopefully, this will work. And I'm just going to push, I think this is what I need to. Uh, I guess the application will tell me if. Okay, Kanata was an error, failed to open the keyboard, cannot detect any keyboard devices. Hmm. That's odd. <laughs> Okay, so at least with my keyboard, it uh, release all keys and don't produce the digital ones. Okay, I wonder if that's because, and I'll just clear my screen. I wonder if I actually need to access sudo. Uh, the root user doesn't have Kanata. Okay, so um, I need to execute so it's home tim dot cargo bin. Oh, it's working. Now, if I open a new terminal, my uh, <laughs> my keyboard should be different. Now, I don't actually know what I have done. <laughs> so I need to go and double check. Uh, so I've got like this, this uh, daemon that's running. Um, and it says here that comments are doing semicolon. It's the scheme lisp syntax uh, for config, which is different. Uh, 
and I don't. Uh, one diff source is allowed. So, GIV tab caps. Oh, so this is the keyboard layout that it is. Uh, so I. So I'm now I'm given a given myself a query layout which is uh, nice. Oh, GIV uh, stands for uh, grave, which is this. Um, if you look on the terminal on the right, the, that's a that's a grave, otherwise known as a um, backtick. And I just want to try. Oh, tip, tap backtick, hold toggle switch in the. Uh, I don't really want to switch to Dwarvic keyboard. Okay, um, let's just try it anyway. Um, tap hold. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> if you really want to tinker with your keyboard, I recommend giving this a go. Uh, ah, wait, wait, wait. I actually definitely has, so. The, ah, okay. It all is starting to make sense. I've been able to define a keyboard layout and the commands that I want to run. And I recommend checking out the documentation and so forth, watching the actual tutorial video that I'll link to in the comments for exploring more because there are many, many people in this world who like to tinker with their keyboard. Uh, that is Kanata. Enjoy the crate of the week. I shall see you back next week.